When I'm on the go, I take NCTV 45 with me. It's Butts Flowers when you want a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. They also have a selection of fine gifts and more. Butts Flowers is conveniently located in downtown Newcastle at 120 East Washington Street. Call Butts Flowers at 724-652-7727 or toll free from anywhere. 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. The Beanery Depot and Deli. Coffee, made-to-order subs, snacks, and more. Meatball sandwiches, fresh and hot. Pepperoni rolls, fish sandwiches, chicken, milkshakes. The Beanery Deli. When you're hungry for something special, and it won't cost you a lot of beans. Dan's Auto Body and Repair. Daniel McClure says we do complete paint jobs using Sherman Williams Ultra 700. Finer fender benders, no problem. Free estimates, frame straightening, and rust repair. Competitive pricing on body work. We waive the deductible. Visit our website for ins information on insurance myths. We also do collision. Visit Dan's Auto Body Repair dot com or seven two four six five seven thirty six forty seven. Talk about convenient. Located just off the four twenty two bypass on Center Avenue, Hito's Restaurant, Catering, and Banquet Center is perfect for parties or business meetings. Spacious and contemporary, they feature large portions at low prices. Make Hito's your choice. Call 724-535-3530. Whether it's a scheduled appointment or same-day service, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning offers 24-7 service for commercial, industrial, and residential, as well as fire and water damage restoration. Using state-of-the-art technology, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning experts are ready to professionally clean your carpet today. Call DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning for a free in-home estimate. Thank you for making us Lawrence and Mercer County's largest carpet cleaner. And remember, nobody gets your carpet cleaner. Keep watching NCTV 45 for Cook in the Castle. You're going to love it. Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street and whenever you watch Focus NC, my wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. Hi, I'm Gary West for NCTV 45 and this is Newswatch Weekend Edition. Not only do we have lots of news for you, but we will give you sports and weather with Angelo shortly. Lawrence County will receive $287,428 through the Marcella Shale Act 13 impact fees. Uh, the county received uh, the money based on well drilling activities in the year 2013. Lawrence County commissioners will use $240,000 for three county projects and 10 nonprofit agencies. This is the third year the county has received impact fees revenue. Now, the remaining $47,428 is being retained by the county as what is being called a rainy day fund to be used for emergencies. Officials from Jamison Health System and UPMC announced earlier in the week that they had signed a non-binding letter of intent to merge. Now, if you have high mark health coverage, you'll be glad to know that Jamison will continue to accept in-network services for Highmark subscribers. Jamison has renewed its contract with Highmark for three years. That would be through 2017. Subscribers to other insurance carriers will also continue to have access to in-network services at Jamison Health System. The 35th annual Lawrence County Band Festival was a big success at Taggart Stadium in Newcastle on September 17th. The Newcastle High Marching Band hosted that event. Nishanik, Laurel, Shenango, Union, Lincoln, Wilmington, 
and Mohawk High School bands all participated. Westminster College band also performed. The evening was capped off with a moving rendition of America the Beautiful, performed by all the bands together. A job well done by everyone involved. And bridge washing has begun on the bridge that carries Route 422 over Slippery Rock Creek and Slippery Rock Township. The project started Wednesday, September 17th. PennDOT announced uh, that single lane closures on the bridge will be going on as needed in both directions from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. each night, and that will be through Tuesday, September 23rd. Yes, we have more news coming up for you shortly. We also have uh, sports standing by with Angelo. And we want you to stay with us um, to check out these messages. And we want to welcome Augustine's Pizza to the NCTV45 family. Hi, friends. I'm Gary West. And whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store or at their restaurant in Newcastle, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Quiet, relaxing tranquility. That's Bethy's Bacon and Eatery in Valant, Pennsylvania. But you may ask, is it a bakery? Is it a restaurant? Bakery? Restaurant? Well, they have cakes of every kind. And not only that, they have burgers also. And turnovers. And salads. And donuts. And nachos. And cupcakes. And cream puffs. And just goes on and on. But let's not forget, home of the plate-sized cinnamon roll. Is it a bakery? Is it a restaurant? You decide. Bethy's Invo. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Bill Cast is the owner, and he and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items that you remember as a kid. Just to name a few items, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and so much more. Bill's Bake Shop located at 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoningtown section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed on Monday. Bills, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. Hey, welcome to Saturday Sports Fans. And now it's time to take a look at sports. Well, the Newcastle Red Hurricane played on the road against Peters Township Friday night. You could see the score and all the area high school football scores at the bottom of your screen. The Pittsburgh Steelers go into their game against the Carolina Panthers with a 1-1 one one record. This is a road game for the Steelers, and it'll be a prime time game on Sunday night. And like they say, everybody's waiting for Sunday night. So eat your macaroni early. The Pirates talk about hot. Can't beat it. This is the time of year for it. The Pirates' regular season is almost completed. The Bucks are playing the Brewers this weekend at PNC Park. And then they go on the road to take on the Braves in a four-game set. They'll wrap up the season in Cincinnati next weekend. And it's time to beat the Brew Crew so that we can get back and get at those Redbirds. The Pittsburgh Penguins begin their preseason schedule. This Monday, September 22nd, they'll play the Detroit Red Wings at the Console Energy Center with a 7 p.m. faceoff. Now, later on today, you might want to catch this because it was homecoming out at Shenango. And NCTV 45 was there. And we covered the Shenango Avonworth game. So make sure you look for it on NCTV 45. And also make sure you look for it on Comcast 183. And now look for these messages. And then look for Gary to be right back. 
Let's talk with Norm. We're with Norm Lutton. Norm, you're the owner of Crazy Car Restoration. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's a new company we're opening up. Uh, originally, we was Lutton Auto Repair, and uh, we're adding on a little bit. And we're trying to bring out some uh, custom cars for people uh, somewhere in uh, between the five and $20,000 range uh, what people can actually afford today. Uh, anymore, you know, all these cars are so expensive, we're just trying to make ends meet for other people that sounds great now uh but i've been fixing cars for over 35 years that's great so when you have a repair big or small call norm 2p gifts and thrifts many treasures now let's talk with one of the owners hi this is nc tv 45 and your name is paula mandaglio paula pleased to meet you can you tell us a little bit about Two P's, gifts and thrifts? Absolutely. Our thrifts and gifts. We do high-end thrift items, personalized gifts, and repurposed furniture. Uh, we're going to catch up with Peggy. Yeah, sure. Is Peggy Cousins. And can you tell us a little bit about thrifts and gifts? Two P. Uh, you have giftware. Uh-huh. You're a, and I see the kids' clothes. Mm -hmm. You're a... Uh, a mini department store. Correct. Correct. There you yeah. go. Well, we have something for everyone. 2P Gifts and Thrifts. Hope you're having a great day and you're watching News Watch Weekend Edition on NCTV 45. We continue with more news. Uh, the Pennsylvania Game and Control Board met Wednesday, September 17th in Harrisburg. Sorry to say, they gave no word on the casino license application for Lawrence County. Lawrence Downs Casino and Racing Resort is a harness racing track and casino proposed for Lawrence County, as you know. And it's proposed for Lawrence County by Andeca Entertainment and Penn National Gaming. Now, these companies already have a harness racing license for Lawrence Downs. The gaming board also has not made a decision on four applications for a standalone casino in the Philadelphia area. Stay tuned. Uh, the League of Women Voters of Lawrence County will host a meeting to talk about Marcella Shell natural gas drilling health concerns. The meeting is set for Tuesday, September 23rd. Heather Harkar, a member of the Pittsburgh Area League of Women Voters, will be the guest speaker. The meeting is open to the public from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Confluence, located at 214 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Ramp improvements at the I-376 and Mitchell Road interchange in the Shannock Township started uh, on Monday, September 15th. PennDOT is reporting that long-term closures are planned. The westbound Mitchell Road on a ramp to eastbound I-376 and the eastbound I-376 off-ramp to eastbound Mitchell Road are affected. Pavement patching, resurfacing, guide rail updates, and drainage improvements are all part of that project and detours are posted. And the AAA office at 40 East Street in Newcastle will give you an opportunity to get rid of unwanted prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications as part of National Drug Take-Back Day, which is September 27th. This will be going on between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. that day. No charge for this collection, and uh, big thanks to AAA for sponsoring this collection locally. More information on other collections is available by calling this number, 412-488-74. 52. Now you stay with us for these messages and we'll be right back with Angelo and look at that complete weather forecast. Make it Lanigan's Irish Pub where you'll be amazed with the weekly specials. Pub grub, salads, burgers, sandwiches, Irish specialties and desserts. Lanigan's has a full bar featuring domestic, craft and Irish draft beer. You can also book a party at Lanigan's at 126 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. As they say at Lanigan's Irish Pub, the best Irish food since Ireland. Call 724-657-3444.
It's Little Johnny's Pizza 2 in downtown Newcastle with a great variety menu that you will tell everybody about. Chris Quiera, the owner, is here with more information. Stop down and see us at Little Johnny's 2. We're located at 130 East Washington Street or give us a call at 724-657-2210. Hey, welcome. It's time for that weather. And like they say in the song, let the sun shine. Yep, if the fifth dimension was here, that's what they'd be saying today. It's going to be partly sunny with a high of 79. So get out and enjoy that Saturday. Get to that farmer's market. Get some of that produce so you can be the cook in a castle this week. Now, Saturday night, there's going to be a chance of showers, mainly after 3 a.m., and mostly cloudy around 64. Now, we talked about earlier in the week, that is a significant warm-up of about 20 degrees, because, you know, on Wednesday and Thursday, I was telling you, that coffee was acting like a hand warmer, too. Chance of precipitation is 30% Saturday night. Now, you may ask, what about Sunday? Well, let me tell you. There's a chance of showers with thunderstorms possible after noon on Sunday. Mostly cloudy with a high 74. The chance of precipitation is 40%. So, Sunday night... We're going to have mostly cloudy skies with a low around 50 degrees. And Monday, it will be partly sunny with a high near 64. So what I've got to say is two things. Let's go Bucks. And hey, definitely when it comes to Sunday night, watch those black and gold Steelers. It's time to like... Put a whooping on the Panthers. So we're going to get back and see what Gary has left and a wrap up right after these messages. Free Sports, 835 Moravia Street, wants you to be on top of your game. Go to McCree Sports for all your sporting needs. You can call them at 724-654-6065. Free sports. They'll make you shine. This is NCTV 45. You can watch us anytime on your time. Hey, Gary, it's the weekend. Look out. And as we always say, there's a lot going on in the Newcastle area and Lawrence, all of Lawrence County. Um, you know, that confluence is still thriving, and they got another acoustic mic night coming up uh, the 25th. Do you know how long they're going to keep the acoustic nights going? I think what they're trying to do is downtown, every Thursday, uh, Saturday night, you can find a lot to do downtown. They have their acoustic mic night. Um, there's a whole set of things going on in Two Rivers Artisan Coffee around the corner. Um, just a, a, a plethora of uh, events. Now, I know you talked to Nick Allegro, uh, who does yes. the acoustic nights. And did he say how far they're going to keep that going? No, or is that, that indefinite? It's indefinite. Good. That's it's good indefinite. to hear. It's indefinite. And... Um, you know, you, you couple that with uh, the activities at the library, and there's there's a lot to do downtown. And it's totally safe. It's clean. Um, and anything that you get here, you, you can get anywhere else. But I would choose to do it in Newcastle because, hey, a man's home is his, new, is his castle, and you can't beat it here in Newcastle. Speaking about... Castle, you do a great job with the Cook in the Castle, which airs on Thursdays. And uh, your last one was uh, Stuffed Eggplants, which was phenomenal. And what's coming up next? A little uh, smokehouse chicken. And I got to tell you, 
I, you know, as we record these shows ahead of time, and he teases my son as being Ange two by two, we have a treat coming for you in two weeks because we made London broil. And we did it Oriental style. So we used a little uh, soy sauce and a little teriyaki and some garlic. Needless to say, that was all gone. You should have been here that night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the London broils come up in a couple of weeks. Weeks, yeah, but we're the gonna next one will be smokehouse chicken. Smokehouse chicken. Well, I'm looking forward to that. You know, Father Mike uh, usually is a positive person, but he's been like complaining. He says, "Why is my part in the morning? I want to be when the stuff is done." <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, Father Mike Ackerman does a great job. Make sure you tune in for the thought of thought for the day, uh, Monday through Friday. He does a great job. Very inspirational. And you know, I had a great week this week. And you know why? I had pizza. I went up to Augustine's, and uh, we welcomed them to the NCTV Forty Five family. Frank's a great guy. And I got to sit and talk to Frank about having an Augustine's pizza and a root beer pop. And you know what we talked about? Football. Notre Dame football. That's for Frank because I always agitate him because he's a big Penn State fan. <laughs> so, yeah, Frank, I said it on air. <laughs> well, uh, the sanctions were lifted at Penn State, so there's a lot more meaning there now. <laughs> But, uh -oh. yeah, you go ahead and have those conversations with Frank and <laughs> make sure you eat that delicious Augustine's pizza. And as Angelo just mentioned, we want to welcome them to the, to the NCTV45 family. Well, I'll tell you what. I thank our viewers and everybody for making a lot of what we do possible. And keep looking at that local programming. And we're on Comcast now, Channel 183. So you're going to be able to catch us for time, from time to time. This is a constant, Gary, I tell everybody, that's a constant building experience. So you have to realize that, you know, with it comes a learning curve and some growing pains. But we're growing, and it, it, it's looking pretty good. I hope everybody enjoyed Castle Hop, by the way, that was aired this week. That was at Cascade Park? That was at Cascade yeah. Park. And one more thing before we leave, uh, what's coming up on the programming schedule for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? We have a Focus NC with Dr. Michael Schreck from out of Chenango and the Newcastle School District. Also... No, that's the Chenango School District. The Sh Chenango School District. I apologize. Um, also, I, I was kind of getting ahead of myself... On Wednesday, this is one of those ones where Gary doesn't even know this is happening, but it's happening. <laughs> surprises, <laughs> surprises. We have a new show. It's called Castle Carriage Care. And we're going to talk about getting your car ready for winter. When's the first one going to air, do you know? Wednesday. We Looking did, forward to that? <laughs> we did that. And these are some things you should look out for. It, it's... Reportedly, from what I've been seeing, going to be a cold winter, cold and snowy. Uh, you don't want to have a dead battery. You don't want to have windshield wipers that don't work. And the last thing you want is your radiator to freeze. So we covered that on Wednesday because we're, uh, we're one step ahead here at NCTV 45. So this is just one little look that you'll have and enjoy. Then there's Cooking a Castle on Thursday. You can't beat that. And then on Friday, we have a to-be-announced type thing because there's a couple different shows in the works. Um, so, And we have some reality TV coming to NC TV 45. Can't tell you about that just yet, but it's about probably six weeks away. I've been working on a project. What's really nice about NCTV 45 is that you can go back into the archives and watch any of, of the episodes and the programs uh, from how far back, Ange? Can it go back all the way to last year or the all beginning the of this year? 
All the way to last year. You can go back to the early days of the early NC- day. It was a lot different back then. <laughs> the early days of T- NC TV 45. <laughs> and you can catch how we moved. Studio 1A, it was over there, it was over here. The lighting changed. Uh, so much going on. And, and, you know, our viewership has, has grown. We're covering Lawrence County right now as a major media player um, and we have a significant portion of the population so that's great to know and we thank our sponsors and our advertisers and make sure you support those local people they need to know it and tell them you saw it on NCTV 45 and for all you businesses out there we got some great rates for you that's right Thanks for watching. That's going to wrap it up uh, for Newswatch Weekend Edition. I'm Gary West for NCTV 45. And I'm Angelo Parada. Have a great weekend, everybody.